The European Union is currently advancing the Cyber Resilience Act, CRA, a legislative measure that could spell trouble for the open source software community. This act aims to enhance software security but might inadvertently endanger the ethos of open source development. This is Katie Craig in San Diego, California. The CRA's intention to enforce industry best practices in software design, development, release, and maintenance has sparked concerns among open source proponents. The act seeks to ensure software security through various means, including a self-certification process and mandatory certification and auditing for critical software. The act's provisions could place a burden on open source projects, potentially leading to increased costs and complexities. Despite efforts to secure exemptions for open source software within the context of the community, these attempts haven't been successful. This points to the EU's intention to extend the CRA's regulations to open source foundations. While the EU recognizes the importance of open source in driving innovation and development, it also emphasizes the need for accountability and security. The requirement to certify the entire code stack, even if a significant portion is open source, could disproportionately impact small and medium-sized businesses. The open source community has sought to ensure exemptions for open source software that is used within open source projects. However, the EU's stance indicates that the CRA's scope is intended to extend across all types of software including open source projects that are deployed in commercial environments. The CRA, although aiming to enhance software security, raises questions about the future of open source development within the EU. As the act advances, it's critical for the open source community to engage with policymakers to strike a balance between security measures and the principles that underpin open source collaboration. The outcome of the CRA's implementation could shape the landscape of open source software development in the EU for years to come. This is Katie Craig. Stay safe out there.